that's right, I do have see-through figures, and I also have Chad Phelps with, with me here. You see I got a spider going on right here, but don't worry, it's not real. But we do have some real insects, and actually a snake over here, so how you guys doing? Good, good. So first of all, let them know where you're from, Zufana, where's that at? Zufana, we're located in Wake Forest, which is up Capitol Boulevard, and you'll see the signs. Okay, so what kind of uh, fun, creepy, crawly stuff do you have? Oh. for us to see t today, this morning. In honor of Halloween, we have all sorts of interesting things. Okay, so you're not going to scare me too bad, right? Okay, oh, you're jumping out of your hand over there. That's not a good sign, Steve. That's okay, that's okay. All right. all right, let me take a deep breath. Now, what is this thing that's hissing in your hand? This is a hissing cockroach. Okay. And believe it or not, this is just a baby. It's a baby. When it's full grown, it'll be almost twice that size. But you don't have to worry about seeing them around here. These are from Madagascar. So I would suggest if you find these in your house to move out. Oh, wow. Because, are are uh, they uh, lethal or deadly in oh, any way? Oh, no. They're, they're like our roaches. They're just kind of more of a uh, annoyance for you to look at. But they're not going to hurt anything. They're actually very clean. And they, don't, they wouldn't ever hurt you. They don't even have the ability to bite you. Okay. Uh, they're mostly uh, leaf eaters. Uh, veggies, that sort so of I, thing. So let me, let me add that to my collection over okay. here with the spider. Hopefully yeah. he doesn't um, go too far. What else do you have going on over there? For well, us? we also have, also from Madagascar, which is a neat place because that's also where lemurs come from. Lemurs. That's, that's the only place in the world that lemurs come from. Okay. Uh, this is a giant millipede, and if he'll relax, you can actually see that he's actually quite big. Wow. Now, this is a millipede. A millipede. A What's millipede. the difference between a millipede and a centipede, for those who don't know? Well, basically, if you look at their body, their body has all sorts of little segments here. If you look at a millipede, they have four legs for every body segment, but a centipede only has two. Okay. So it's not truly that they have 100 versus 1,000 legs. It's you have to look at where the legs are and how many they have. Now, you think I'd be a little agitated with this thing crawling all over me, but I see little bugs crawling all over him. What's that? Yep. Those are little mites, and they just live on its body. It's actually a mutually beneficial relationship. The mites get to have a nice home to live in, and they also help keep it clean. So oh, okay. It's, it's good for both of them. Wow. See, now your friend there has calmed down. He's stopped hissing. Oh, he likes me. He doesn't really like you, yeah. but that's all right. <laughs> um, Actually, the hissing is telling you to leave me alone, but see, he's calmed down, so he likes you. Okay, now you have a snake over there also, Well, right? we have one other one that I want to show you, just another okay. little guy before we, get to the, before we get to the big one. Okay, that's a scorpion over there. Yes, this is an emperor scorpion. Okay. And like most scorpions, they come from the desert. And if you'll notice on the back of his tail there, there's a little venom sac wow. with a little uh, needle there. And what they do is this little scorpion is a meat eater. He's a hunter. And they would eat insects. They would uh, eat even small mammals. Wow, and I see with those claws. They're like mini lobster claws over there. Absolutely. So they would grab their prey with those claws and then sting it from the back. They'd just flick their tail around and inject it with the venom, wow. and that would kill it. Now, this venom, uh, we've been told, we haven't actually had to experience, thank goodness, but uh, it's like the equivalent of a bee sting, but there are scorpions that are uh, almost lethal to people. So you can imagine what it would do to a little mouse. Wow. So I'm going to keep that on my friendly side. And what about yeah. the snake we have going on? All right. I know you're eager to see the snake. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big snake fan. I guess I can deal with the little, actually, big roach here. But uh, now, would this interfere or conflict with uh, the snake? Will he, like, want to eat no, this? he right won't care. This? Okay. He's a meat eater, too. Okay. So I guess I'll here, we'll put him down. Big snake. Big snake going on over there. Now. Uh, let us know a little bit about him or her. Yeah. Which, okay. Just hold the toe. Yeah, okay, go. I got it. All right. All right. <laughs> go. This is a green anaconda. They're from South America. They live down in the Amazon. Uh, this is actually your largest snake in the world, the heaviest. Uh, full grown, it can be over 30 feet long and weigh up to 300, over 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Now, what kind yeah. of stuff does this snake eat? Pretty much in the wild, they'll eat whatever they can find that'll fit down their throat, which is caimans, which is a small crocodile, you know, large rodents, whatever they can find. Um, 
In in captivity, they'll eat rats and mice and stuff like that. Wow. Well, that's amazing. That's all we have time for in this segment. I want to thank you, Seat the Bigger, Chad Phelps. And don't forget, check them out, Zoo Fauna in Wake Forest.